Hi everyone! In today's video, we will be going over the cost center feature in Orange HRM. A cost center is defined as a department or other units within an organization to which costs may be charged for accounting purposes. More specifically, imagine we have multiple employees in different locations and different departments working on a single project. How would you group them together? Creating a cost center easily categorize this team working on a project. You must first make sure that cost center is enabled. Go to HR administration, organization, then general information. We can see that there is an option called cost center enabled. To turn it on, we just click the box and now it's enabled, but now we must save. We can access cost centers. We go and add a cost center. By clicking add cost center, we'll call it CPNA 2017 for a cost center ID and the name will be Census Project North America. Okay, so we'll go and click save. We can also go and edit the cost center we create by clicking on this icon. Also, I'll go and add a description. Great, so when we're satisfied to click save, and now we've added our cost center. To add employees to a cost center, we just go to employee management, then employee list, then select our employee. From here, we go to the job tab, and then we go and click on the cost center. So we can go and look for our cost center and we add our employee there. So we have CPNA. This is Project North America 2017. We click save and we put cost center move. So we confirm and we successfully saved an employee. We also go and can save some time by clicking switch employee. If you wanna to go to the same page, we'll select Peter Anderson and then we can also go and choose the same cost center. So one thing I want to note is that his location in U.S. He's in Sela subunit, and he also has a job title as CRO. So we'll click Save. But with all those data fields, he's still categorized as working on a census project. Okay, so we'll go and look for another employee. Okay, now we have Linda Anderson. who is in Europea. She's a talent acquisition manager, so we can go and add in the same cost center. We'll click save, then we'll put the cost center move and confirm and now successfully saved. Now let me show you how to go and generate reports. On cost centers, we go to reports and analytics and we can go and create a report. So we go and click add a report. Then we can select the report type and folder. The report name we can say, Employees Working on the Census Project North America. Click Next and we select our criteria. So we want to go and check this cost center, and this will include the current employees only. So I'm going to put in the cost center we created. We click Next, and then we add the display field group. So we're going to go and display the employees. So we're going to look in personal, and we can go and put their first name, their last name and we can also go and add their job as well we need to be wanted to, and we can go and select them, job title. So then we go and click save, and as we see now all the employees working on the census project for North America, you have Brody, Peter, Linda, they all have different job titles, and you can even change the display fields in this report. To go and get more information, we click edit. So we go down to job, and then we can select, the location, then click save and now it shows you their location. The report selected all the employees assigned to the same cost center and displays their name, their job title, and location. The showcases how useful cost centers are when it comes to categorizing employees and projects. Should also be noted that cost centers appear in leave lists too as well. You can see right here just using the filter you can go and type cost center. And if we go down, you can see there is now employee ID, employee, and date. Go into our employee list. We now see that cost center is now column and it will list employees are in cost center. We will also go and filter and search by cost center too. Lastly, at corporate directories, we see cost centers up here as well. So if a person is assigned to a cost center, it will show up in their directory card. Thank you for watching the video.
If you have any further questions, please contact us at info at orangehram.com or visit our website at www.orangehram.com.